this notice right here we got a brand new update so let's read it street ball all-star version update as of 2023 and uh what, what month is this man march may yeah may the 26th by the street ball all-star team so dear player we've updated version 1.4.58 for android and ios in order to ensure the normal game experience of players please update to the latest version in the store yes Please make sure y'all update your games, man, because if you're trying to queue up and your game is not updated, it can definitely cause complications. So let's go ahead and read the update content details. Number one, optimize the field of view width on iPad devices. I play on a phone, so I'm not really sure how much that's going to help, but y'all iPad players, rejoice because they just fixed the field of view for y'all. Number two, optimize to avoid the problem of using tall characters to block offensive character. Not completely sure what they mean by that either. I'm assuming that means that it's going to be a little bit more difficult for taller players to block shorter ones. Uh, characters like Nana going against people like Martin, probably going to be harder for him to block those. Number three, fix the problem of not being able to follow or like. Not really a huge issue, but for the people who like the social aspect of this game, rejoice because they just fixed that problem for y'all. Number four, fix the problem that the nickname does not change after switching characters in the team page. Uh, wasn't really that big of an issue either, but I am glad that they actually fixed it. Number five, fix the problem that the shooting percentage in the training ground is inconsistent with the actual game. Now, number five, Really good change, man, because I would go inside the training area and I would be very consistent at the three-point line. Then I go inside of a match and I'm missing back-to-back. -back. So I'm really happy they actually made that change. Definitely going to come in handy. We're able to actually test out our builds and get actual feedback from the training area. So number six, adjusted three-point shooting percentages of centers and power forwards. Now, I don't really use three-point centers and power forwards. I use blocking centers and power forwards. But if you have been using someone like Sarah and, you've, and you're seeing a little bit less consistency out there as uh, since this update came out anyway, make sure y'all drop it inside the comments and let me know because I want to know if this is a buff or a nerf. Not completely sure, man. Number seven, adjusted closed attributes that take up two equipment spaces. So um, you think about the zombie mask. Y'all know the zombie mask, man, from the zombie suit. That takes up a head slot as well as a mask slot. So I'm not sure if they mean you're going to get double the amount or if they mean that you're going to be able to put a second set of stats on that piece of gear. But if y'all have that piece of gear, go ahead and let me know. I no longer have access to it since I started the game back over. Number eight, adjusted character stat balance. So the skill effect of strengthening dunk has been changed to increase the slam dunk hit rate and decreases the distance at which dunks are blocked. So it's going to take a little bit... Um, well, I'm not going to say a little bit more timing. It's going to be a little bit more difficult to actually block dunks now because you're going to have to be closer to them. Well, you had to be pretty close before, so I don't really know how close you have to be now. Probably going to figure that out when I get inside of a match. But with ISO Dunker being the meta right now, they are they just made them even stronger, man. It's going to be even more difficult to stop that strategy. So we're going to have to find a way to actually stop that by using one of the characters that no one uses. We got to get us a meta killer, man. I got somebody in mind. I was going to do that today inside today's video but i wanted to read this update so let's read the next one block reduce the judgment interval for dunks to be blocked i'm assuming this means that you won't be able to block dunks as late inside the animation as you were before which means you will need better timing so you need better timing you also have to be closer going to be very difficult to block dunks these days man iso dunker just became a whole lot more dangerous and mid shot the hit rate of long range mid shots has been reduced yeah, man, it's going to be very difficult to actually shift the meta now. Um, they strengthen dunks. They weaken shooting. So, yeah, man, very, very bad change in my opinion. I was hoping for this update to actually shift the meta, but all that did was make the meta stronger, man. You're going to have to start using more power-based characters if you want to actually be able to compete against that strategy. So this is the update, man. Going to be very difficult to stop ISO Dunker. That's going to be on my mind heavy for at least until the next update comes out because I do not know who can actually stop this at this point. And it's like I said before, I got somebody in mind. We're going to talk about that tomorrow. That's it. Now catch y'all next one.